tracking dry conditions out there. Seems like we've had a lot of wind lately. Well, the wind will get an uptick tomorrow, at least over in western Wyoming. That's what's prompted the National Weather Service. Issue another one of these. Look at all that red, Jackson all the way up to Yellowstone as far south as Afton in the southwest corner of Wyoming. A red flag warning kicks in tomorrow at lunchtime and runs until about 8 in the evening tomorrow. Again, the biggest factors, extremely low humidity and gusty wind. So if you're going to be out wandering about in the hills, the mountains, just be mindful how things are really dry, parched out there. It wouldn't take much for a fire to ignite and for one to spread rapidly. Storm tracker, satellite radar. Hardly a cloud out there at all. Maybe just to the west of the Great Salt Lake. That's about it. High pressure building in. That's why it's so clear. And that's why we started to warm up a little bit today. Maybe you noticed that. Well, it's going to get even warmer tomorrow as those temperatures start to really, uh, really climb. We're already climbing out west. Burns, Oregon. Burning up a little bit today with a temperature of about 90. Upper 80s in Lewiston. Boise a little warmer than yesterday this time at 88. Pocatello, we are in the mid 80s. Upper 80s in Salt Lake City. And upper 70s over in Jackson. Mid 70s at West Yellowstone. So the forecast tonight, clear sky just like what we had last night. I think Otto Falls, you'll do a little better than you did last night. Your low is 37 degrees. So tonight is, you're expecting 40. I guess that is a little better, right? Mackey around 46 tonight. Just barely Barely above freezing in Stanley, it's better than the 31 you had last night, right? Clear sky for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Low temperatures will range from the freezing mark in Yellowstone to the mid-40s in Dubois up in Clark County. And clear sky, too, will continue for the southeast corner of the state. Pretty cold in Montpelier, but I don't think you'll be quite as cold as you were last night. You'll stay above freezing at 34, just barely. Tomorrow will be an even warmer day. Montpelier up to 88. We got 92 for high in Lava, 90 in Downey. Wait a minute, yeah, still summer out there. It's going to feel like summer tomorrow for sure. Even for places like Driggs, we'll be in the mid-80s. Afton, also 84. Central Mountains, temperatures will climb even into the 90s in places like Chalice. Salmon, close to 90. 88 for high in Arco. 93 at American Falls tomorrow. 94 in Pocatello. So needless, needless to say, even warmer than it was this afternoon. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast still in the 90s on Thursday, but we may see some showers and thunderstorms late in the day. We'll keep those 90s all the way through the holiday weekend, though, backing off just a little bit on Tuesday. Idaho Falls seven day forecast. We're backing off a little bit Thursday for the high temperature, 89, so maybe not quite so hot as it will be tomorrow. It could, we could see some showers and thunderstorms, but look at those 90s. They're right back into the picture Friday, and they'll keep us busy all the way through Labor Day. Teton area seven day forecast. We may be a little busy as far as stormy weather on Tuesday or on Thursday, I should say, should, should say a chance of showers and thunderstorms. 80s return going to the weekend and for the central mountains. We had maybe not quite so hot on Thursday, maybe some storms or in the 80s for a couple of days. But for most of the holiday weekend, we are in the lower 90s.